Thank you for purchasing the June Taylor Sew by Number Pillow Patterns printed on batting. In the package you will find the packaging card. Here it specifies the amount of fabric you need to purchase in order to create the three different pillow patterns that are printed. Wrapped inside of the batting you will find the instruction sheets. The instruction sheets specify the amount of fabric that you need to cut for the backing, the lining, the binding, and on the back side what size to cut the fabrics for each individual pillow design. There's also the assembly instructions which tells you how to sew the pieces by number and construct the pillow so that you can insert the pillow form. And of course it includes the three designs of sew by number batting. The first thing we will do in order to create the sew by number pillow covers is to cut apart the three pillow designs. You want to carefully cut between the three different designs as evenly as possible. You can use a scissors or a rotary cutter and cutting mat. Then complete cutting out the pillow top batting pattern, leaving a half inch margin on the remaining sides. Our printed pillow top batting has been trimmed to size and the next step is to cut our fabrics. Before cutting our fabrics, we recommend that you starch them first. June Taylor makes a starch called Quilter Starch Savvy that's been designed specifically for quilting cottons. Other starches, however, can be used. Whether you choose to use yardage goods or pre-cut fat quarters, you want to starch them first to make them nice and stiff. You'll find when doing the sew by number projects that if you're working with a stiff fabric, it will cut easier, sew easier, maintain its shape, and when constructing your project, will give you nice, clean, crisp seams. Once our fabrics are starched, we can then cut them to size as specified in the instructions. Each design has its own cutting dimensions. I'm going to show you how to do the pinwheel, which when finished will look like this. And we're going to start by cutting our yellow fabric into an eight and three quarter inch square. There's many different ways that you can cut your fabrics. I'm going to show you the basic method of just marking and cutting it with the scissors. So you want to start with a straight line and then you want to draw a parallel line at eight and three quarters. So mark that there. And with the eight and three quarter line of my ruler, mark that. Then we want to make sure we keep everything nice and square. So using the lines of our ruler, we can make sure that everything stays straight. And then we're going to measure eight and three quarters from the bottom, which will give us our square. Now the instructions tell us we're going to need to cut this square in half diagonally. So once I draw this, I can then mark my diagonal line. Through here. And I'll cut four pieces just like this. I've cut my four triangles as specified. Now I'm going to cut the rectangles. We need four rectangles at four and a half by twelve and a half inches. So I'm going to take this time my rotary cutter and cutting mat and I'm going to cut those using these tools instead. So we're going to place our fabric on the cutting mat. We'll start by cutting in the zero line like that. And we need 12 and a half inches, so we'll line our mat and ruler up together to measure 12 and a half inches in this direction. Slide that away. Now that we have two even parallel lines, we can cut our four and a half inch strip. If you want, you could layer multiple pieces of fabric together. You always want to start with the zero so that you make sure that you have a nice 
straight edge at the beginning. And then we'll cut at four and a half inches again using the markings on the mat and the ruler. We'll cut our four and a half by twelve and a half inch rectangle. You'll need four of these again in the same colors that you used for the triangles. The triangles and rectangles for our pillow top have been cut, but I'd like to show you one more cutting method that we like to use. The June Taylor Shape Cut Ruler has slots at half inch increments that accommodate a rotary cutter. This is a great tool to use when doing things like cutting our binding. Our binding, as specified in our instructions, needs to be three and a half inches wide, and we need 80 inches of three and a half inch strips per pillow. So I'm going to use the shape cut to cut my binding. We start with our fabric, salvage edges, and folded edge. It's a full width of fabric, and we're going to place the shape cut with the zero line on the bottom edge of our folded fabric so that it's all nice and lined up right here. We'll start by cutting in the zero slot to make sure that our edges are nice and square. So we'll start by cutting in zero. Like I said, we need three and a half inch strips, so we'll cut in the three and a half inch slot and again in the seven inch slot. If I wanted more binding, the same color, I could continue on to the ten and a half inch slot. So I'll show you how easy it was to cut enough three and a half inch strips for the binding of one pillow, just like that. 